Sam and Nick are here. It's lovely to see you right here. Oh, thank you for having <coughs> us. Excuse me, that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, you're two of the, the biggest, obviously, the biggest bloggers. How did you get started doing that? Um, I was really heavily pregnant with my second daughter. Right. And I looked all right from the neck up. I didn't feel great <coughs> about myself. Sure. A friend asked me how to do um, a smoky eye, and I just filmed it and put it online. Right. And then people started watching, and I thought, this is fun. I'll just carry on. And then Nick got involved. It's been about seven years yeah. now. Yeah, it's seven years. Seven yes. years we've wow. been on there. Yeah. Fantastic. But look, so many questions, as you can imagine, people wanting information, because I learned so much from that. That was so good. Oh, it really was. You. It was brilliant. Now, this is Shannon Nichols, and she's from Horsham. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, Nick and Sam. My question is about prom. My sister is wearing a red sparkly dress and has asked me to do her prom makeup. What makeup would you recommend I do? Thanks. So, what do we think? OK, for prom, if she's wearing a red sparkly dress, mm -hmm. I think a red lip would look amazing. But right. you need to make sure that red lip is going to last. Think of someone like Gwen Stefani. She yeah, wears she a red so lip well. so she well. She does. It doesn't have to be really, really strong. You know, wear what you feel comfortable with, but a great way of holding the red lip in place is take a little piece of tissue. Right. You're going to peel it off, mm -hmm. so you've got one layer. After you've done your lipstick, pop your lip liner on, your lipstick over the top, you're then going to take that and powder over the top of it. Really? It gives you a really soft, light dusting of powder right. and then apply another coat and it will last all day. <coughs> Make sure you choose a very, very matte lipstick as well. Nothing with too much shine. That's really good. Right, our next one is a tweet. It's from Vinnie McDonald from Southampton. She says, do you think there's an age limit for very bright eye makeup? Do you think that once you pass 35, you should start toning it down? Oh, no, I think it's no. all about how you feel. If you, if you feel comfortable in it, wear it. But if you don't, but you love blue, then maybe you can do something like add an accent, which is what I'm going to do. Right. I'll just take a blue eyeliner and then you can use it with your neutral eyeshadow and just pop it in the waterline. Oh, right, OK. And then you get to keep your blue. <coughs> I like but that. it's a bit toned down. Yeah, it is. It's not, it's not quite so in your face, totally. but it looks really good. I think Cara Delevingne always does it really, really well. She really does. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, she does. She's got that really smoky effect. I love that. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, Christy in Glasgow, she's got a question for us. Hi, Christy. Hi there. Um, hi, girls. Hello. What, <coughs> what would you say suits a brown eye best? What colours suit brown eyes best? Oh, she's a beautiful Ooh, girl, isn't yes. she? Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Brown, Great makeup too. People with brown <laughs> eyes always feel left out because they think they, you know, I've got brown eyes. I, don't, I want green eyes. I want blue eyes. Brown eyes are amazing because you can wear any colour with them. Right. You can wear so much. It's you're so lucky. Think of someone like Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. She's got beautiful brown eyes. She wears goldy tones to bring out the amberness in the brown eyes. Sure. Gold, so gold bronzies, you know, beautiful. Anything with a bit of a shimmer yeah. can really yeah. frame those brown eyes and look great. No, I think, I mean, what you were wearing just now, um, Christy, that looks beautiful. It does. It does. Yeah, do you like to experiment with makeup? Well, when I've got time, yeah, I've got a wee baby, he's only eight months old, oh. so oh. when I've got the luxury of time, I like to, yeah, to try yeah. things out. So. Well, with your beautiful brown eyes, you can wear absolutely anything. You can just go for it. Thank you, lovely. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. That's great. And we've got an email from Erin Stevenson from Edinburgh, and she says, I've got really bad, I think a lot of people identify with this, I've got really bad dark circles under my eyes. I've tried correctors. But they all seem to kind of crease yeah. within about an hour, you know, all these kind of things. What, what's the best idea for I that? I have really dark circles under my so eyes as well. Um, and I think <coughs> it's really important to choose a concealer that works with your skin type. So if you have right. an oily skin, you want a matte concealer. And if ah. you have a dry skin, maybe a more moisturising concealer. You can also set it with a light dusting of powder. Right. That's and a really good yeah, idea. Being mums as well, you don't get that much sleep so you do get the dark eyes mm. what i tend to do a little trick as well is get a piece of cucumber and an old tea bag put it in the fridge and then when you get time pop it under your eyes when you've got a few seconds just to really? rest that works. pop it under your eyes because the caffeine in the tea bag helps to stimulate the darkness under the eyes the blood vessels and get them moving that's a really really good yeah. idea but a used tea bag use yeah. tea bag put it in the fridge along with a cucumber along totally with a cucumber right okay the sli and slice the cucumber and just lay it on top and then pop it under your eyes it helps to stimulate that that um, darkness under the eye and get the blood fantastic. moving. Thank you both very much. And I must apologise for coughing all the way through oh, that. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Thank you both very much. Thank you so much.